Three years down the line, the Northwest region is still haunted by the socio-political crisis. The results have been violence, burnings, killings, kidnappings, school shutdowns, hospitals operating at half gear among others. Gunshots have been the most regular sounds around. The villages are deserted with its population emptying into other regions of the country and beyond the national borders. Not even Bamenda, the regional headquarter, is spared. Many civil servants and businessmen have left the city. Traditional rulers, most parliamentarians and senators, event organizers have since escaped for safety into other parts of the country. The only people still visible and seemingly active in Bamenda are journalists. Call them the last men standing. I believe that it is because uh, journalists have understood and mastered their role in understanding that the story has to be told. And the story has to be told not from a distance. There is too much work for journalists to do here and for that simple reason, uh, if you have the basics to survive with, you would definitely always want to stay here because there are too many stories to be told. The humanitarian needs increase by the day, displacements increase by the day, the uh, touching of houses and all of that all increased by the day and so you need to be here to tell the story. Well, what is near on the ground is uh, the quest for news. Though the scope of uh, coverage has been reduced, you know we have seven divisions in the northwest region and uh, for now I think we cover, uh, I say less than one, less than one because we are just reduced to Bamenda. We can't go out of Bamenda, uh, the other subdivisions uh, of Mesam Division, there are, there are seven of them, but I can say we cover only three. Surviving in the midst of the crisis, when listeners, viewers and readers often tune in to get the latest information, journalists have described their job of information gathering as challenging more than ever before. It is more challenging even for the journalist, who is not supposed to just to be in his backyard, who is supposed to be out there telling the story as it is. Uh, we now know that the event organizers have left the region. We know that not even government events are pre-announced. We know that the um, new sources, new sources are indeed in short supply. The issue of credibility is at stake, attributions are absent, and mobility is a major difficulty with journalists. At a time when no one, not even the journalist, is safe, journalists must serve their audiences. You have to now create local groups that you trust, create people, keep, uh, create friends on the ground that you can rely on if you must cover up to 50% of the region. Because anybody without those opportunities will cover less than 20% because you'll only be walking around the city centre here. As journalists braving the odds in the two English-speaking regions of the country join their counterparts nationwide and beyond to commemorate World Press Freedom Day on May 3rd, journalists are called upon to expand their reporting skills.